uh, Laura Pidcock, a lot of your constituents will commute mm. into Tyneside. Uh, they'd certainly be hit by the tolls on the bridges and any charging option. Uh, is this something that should go ahead, given that the, there are hundreds of people dying? Mm. I mean, th there has to be concerted efforts to tackle uh, the quality of our air and how poor it is for so many people. But I agree, it's, it's, it's the poorest people that will be hit the hardest. And if you're a small business having to go to and from, it will really, really hurt your, your bottom line, if you like. I think this is, again, a slight distraction. What councils need is proper powers to like regulate buses again, for example. I get to work for £1.50 in London. It's so easy there's so many buses okay. whereas in concert it's like six seven pounds uh, the private market of buses has failed uh, people and commuters and, and, yeah. and councils need proper powers again for uh, public solutions to climate change and pollution I mean uh, uh, we're in this position partly because councils mostly labor in in certainly Tyneside have failed to act in years gone by basically well, I, I, I just don't I don't think that's fair if councils had the powers and you know you might dismiss buses but it's what most working class people use to get well, to work buses. and it's very 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 expensive at the well, moment the I, would, to possibly I, would have, I would have driven I, sorry I would have got the bus here today if it wasn't so complex to get from my neck of the woods in in uh, northwest Durham over over a Newcastle uh, it is a serious matter the, okay. the bus system and we need to local authorities need to have the powers to properly invest, okay. yes, in clean okay. energy buses uh, to make sure people can get to work cheaply.